Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Outlast. Sorry, cat got in the way there. He's very dead. Can this door be opened? No. Okay. I don't want to kill myself. Oh, crap. No. Quietly, quietly. <laughs> as quiet as we can be on these metal stairs. Are you locked? Yes. Nothing. Hide. Where is he? Is he going back down the stairs? Yeah, I agree. This place is filthy. T Department of Sanitation really needs to come take a look at this place. No piggies here. Why? Get through the door! Oh, squeeze the gap, through the gap, through the gap. F fuck you, fat ass. Any batteries or anything on you? No. You're a douche. God damn it. You're locked, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, we're here. Trees or anything. Sure, why not? No, I don't itch. Who's whoa? Fucking. Ah, here we go. You ain't getting it from me, mate. Clean yourself. Oh, 
Okay, we don't need to see any more of that. You right there? You stay in your si Bastard! Thank you! I think he might be dead. Thank you for your timely intervention though. Nothing in here. Alright, here we go. I believe you, buddy. Nothing in there. Whoa! Hello! I thought you were dead. Rudolf G. Wernicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematics and scientific communities for a paper written with early computer computing pioneer Alan Turing. After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he emigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Renike retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Renike a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Hmm. X to doubt. Anything in here? No. You're locked. Cool. Don't know, mate. Oh, hello. Let's chase this battery. What? Shit. Um. Why? Bastard. Oh god fucking damn it. Fucking hell. Hi there. Yeah, I'd be scared too, but you don't need to be scared of me. It's the dude over there with the attitude problem. Any batteries or files anywhere? No. Right in here. No. Oh well. Time to move on. Whoa, that's a lot of blood. Do I hear something? Hmm. War Rider. The word War Rider is all over this place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project War Rider. But the patients talk about the war rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or a demon. Something they found in the mountain. I chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera, or maybe this place is getting to me. Well, I, I missed it, but if you saw it, Miles, then I believe you.
anything here worth collecting. Doesn't look like it. Alright, then down we go. Down into the depths of hell. Quite literally, it seems. Find a way out of the sewers. Yay! Sewers, my favourite. Right, nothing here. Nothing that way. Do you have anything on you? Before I go through there, just want to make sure. Yep, cave in, nothing there. Cool. Whoa, there it is. File. Found scored in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient father Martin. Yeah, that. This god is real. What we've mistaken so long for ghost spirits, madness, we're only willfully ignorant. The scales on Saul's eyes were fear, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall rider, the gospel of sand. The greatest sin in the world is to is the willful ignorance of God. To receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock, this place. To stand in the way of salvation is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. Alright, so fa the Father Martin was a patient here. Hello? Alright then. Well, only one way to go now. Oh god, no. Through the thing. Fuck. No, no, no. Fuck. Run, 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 and duck! Fuck you, fat ass! <gasps> Shit! <sighs> Thought he came round there for a second. Nothing hit. Alright, that's one valve done. God damn it, Chris. This, as I, I think I said before, this game still knows how to get the, uh, the blood pumping. Holy crap.
Yep. Yep. Where is he? I'm going to assume he went down, he's still down there. Gonna quietly sneak around this way. Sealed off. No, 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 not what I wanted at all. If I remember rightly, he comes crashing through here. So I'm going to hide in this very dark corner. Is he? Yep. The tube is playing, so he's close. Are you there, you frumpy bastard? Yep. Please leave. Don't look around here. Oh, was there a fucking... There were lockers over there. Don't come around here. Thank you. Right now I need to get back to that ladder. Run! Ha <laughs> ha! Bye Chris! You've got nothing on me. Jesus Christ. <sighs> you know, time miles, come on. Right, not that way. God, this place must smell awful. Dead bodies and sewage. No. Hi. Oh, he's got a battery. Oh, god damn it. All right, just claim me more victims. I'm sure it was a quick and painless death. Okay. Hello? Oh, that's the crazy priest. 
All right, we're gonna go through the door. Indeed. He was dead before he even started working here? The patients know Dr. Wernicke is dead. One asks me, what kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? What is Project Wall Rider? Who the hell knows? Is it anything else I can collect here? No. All right, let's just press on. Oh, good. A river of blood. This is like an amp opportune time to end this episode. Whoops. So, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Outlast, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.